Hong Kong's street culture has come to Seoul in the form of toy figurines. Hong Kong-based artist Michael Law is holding his first solo exhibition here in the capital. Michelle Kim tells us more about the artist and his work. With artwork based in hip-hop and skateboarding culture, Michael Lau has become one of the hottest figures in the Hong Kong design and street culture scene. Now, he's bringing his art to Seoul in his first solo exhibition in Korea. Although he got his start as a fine art painter in a small gallery, Lau is perhaps most famous for a series of collectible figurines based on his Gardner comic book series from 1998. Lau drew heavily on his interest in street culture and design to create the series, which became an instant favorite among the locals. His blend of hip-hop and skateboarding culture took another leap forward when he was asked to make several of his comic book characters into figurines for the Hong Kong Toy Show that same year. At around 6 to 12 inches tall, the figurines represented characters from the comic, from tattoo artists to medical students and boutique shop owners. The figurines were an instant hit and he was then given the chance to mass produce the toys. By 1999, the figurines were selling out as soon as a new one was released. Since then, he has turned the creative project into a successful art toy franchise that has seen him collaborating with major clothing and shoe brands. After starting with just 12 figurines, he has since expanded the collection to 113 with more to come. The exhibition at the Sejong Center features all of his Gardner series figurines, including a 280 meter tall figure of the character Tattoo, and his newest figure Sculptura M. David, and various sketches and paintings. Mr. Lau said he is happy to be exhibiting his work in Seoul. I'm very happy to have my first big solo exhibition in Seoul. The theme of the exhibition art toys and I brought figures from my most well-known series, the Gardner series, for current audiences and several other pieces. Michelle Kim, Arirang News.